I came from an entrepreneurial family. My father was an entrepreneur, never went to college, and started a real estate development company. And I actually used to work in his office doing accounting and doing the books when I was in high school. And then I had worked at McKinsey before business school, absolutely loved doing strategy and operations, and then went into private equity after business school. And I was meeting all of these entrepreneurs that had these great ideas and we were buying their companies. And I looked at them and I thought, you know what, I can do that too. And I'd always said I wanted to be a leader, I wanted to run a company, I wanted to be a CEO. And the realization for me was that no one was going to give me that opportunity for years and years, that I had to make that opportunity on my own. And so once I saw these entrepreneurs, I decided I was going to do it. All I needed was an idea. You know, there are so many great ideas that the students have. I'm just mesmerized by the energy and the optimism and the creativity. Um, but what I realize is that there's a lot of questions about how they take their great ideas and actually find the customers and really relate their products or their ideas to the customers. So really helping the students think about how you touch customers when you just have an e-commerce idea is important because there's no e-commerce business that doesn't need to touch customers at some level uh, with their marketing plans. Uh, and then other discussions are how does the team need to look? What's the skill set you need? Because I think when you're an entrepreneur and the way you're taught in business school is you need to build this gold-plated team, right? You need you know, the person that can do design, for example, in this case, the person that can be your tech person, the marketing person. But if you're bootstrapping, which I highly recommend up front till you prove your concept, you can't have all of those skill sets. So what's the one skill set? What's your key hire you need to have in-house? And how can you outsource everything else that you need? Because I think with business today, there are so many um, ways to outsource the different pieces and parts. And so we talk a lot about what do you need in-house and what do you outsource?